Now that you've created your organization or identified an existing one and mapped it to your subscription, you're ready to provision your services. Once you've signed in, you'll see a subscription review detailing the services you've purchased with your subscription. After reviewing your subscription details, select Get Started. In the Meetings Settings tab, set up your WebEx meeting sites. If you already have a site as part of an active trial, you have the option of keeping this site. This will convert your trial to a paid subscription. If you're transferring an existing WebEx site, check the box indicating that you have a transfer code. Then enter your code and the name of the site you are transferring. Contact your Cisco representative if you didn't receive a transfer code in the information provided when you finalized your order. If you want to add a new WebEx meeting site, enter your site name and select your time zone. You'll need to choose where you want to provision and manage your WebEx users. You have the option of choosing WebEx Control Hub or WebEx Site Admin. We recommend choosing WebEx Control Hub for new sites. If you are transferring an existing site, you won't be able to change where it is managed. After choosing where you want to manage your WebEx users, validate your site. Validating will check to make sure that the WebEx site you want to create doesn't already exist. In most cases, you will only need one WebEx meeting site, but if you need more than one, add the additional sites the same way you added the first. If you've entered the wrong site name or want to change it, you can remove the site from your list and enter it again. After finalizing your WebEx meeting sites, you're ready to distribute your licenses. All of your licenses must be assigned to a site and each site must have at least one license added to it before you can continue. The number of remaining licenses is displayed so you can easily keep track. Once you've distributed your licenses, select Next. Confirm your meeting's settings. If you ordered WebEx Audio, you'll see the details of your audio subscription in the confirmation. Confirm your settings. Under Enterprise Settings, create your SIP address. A SIP address allows people with video endpoints to easily call into meetings. Enter a subdomain that identifies your organization, then check to see if it's available. With your subdomain reserved, save your address. Provisioning your services will begin billing. If you don't want to proceed with billing, select Do Not Provision. Doing so discards the information you entered and you'll have to start Service Setup again. When you're ready, select Provision to activate your subscription and begin billing. The provisioning process will be finalized within 24 hours of your activation. You're ready to go. Select Finish to begin managing your site.